Blake Lively is taking fashion inspiration from everywhere, even her own movie directors. From a youthful star on the rise to a confident mom, she's gone through quite the style transformation over the years. Blake Lively's style evolution began in earnest in 2005, when she starred in The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. At the time, her looks were a youthful mix of Y2K classics, including low-waisted belts over jeans, cropped tops, and classic mini-dresses. In a 2019 interview with InStyle, Lively shared an interesting detail about her fashion journey, as she confessed, "...I wore Forever 21 much longer than I admitted. I just started saying it was vintage because I was so shamed for it. For me, fashion is a form of self-expression. It also really takes me out of my comfort zone. One of the reasons I'm an actor is that I'm naturally very shy, so it's liberating to dress up and pretend to be someone else." Ultimately, this early phase in lively style evolution set the stage for the many transformations that were to come. Looking back now, she was clearly fated to be a fashionista. The classic teen soap opera Gossip Girl premiered on The CW in 2007, and with it, the era of Blake Lively as a fashion icon officially began. As the effortlessly chic Serena Vander Woodson, Lively learned a thing or two about fashion, and her own style journey evolved alongside that of her character. As Gossip Girl costume designer Eric Damon told HuffPost in 2012, I feel like Serena's style definitely drifted into Blake's real life, and as Blake became the fashion icon that she is, it also kind of floated into Serena's life. They co-inspired each other. Damon also revealed that supermodel Kate Moss was a big inspiration for Serena's style. As he put it, it was that amazing, nonchalant fashion look that feels like you're totally not put together. You put on whatever's next to the bed, and you look amazing. It's not broke. Break it. <laughs> You know you're a style icon when you receive an invitation to fashion's biggest night, the Met Gala. Blake Lively attended her first Met Gala in 2008, and since then, she's graced the event with her beauty and style nine more times. Gossip Girl was of course still on the air at the time, and fashion was still playing an important part on that show. As Lively recalled to Grazia, "...the impact of the fashion on that show was greater than anything else, greater than the storytelling and greater than the characters. It definitely changed my life." Lively wore a Ralph Lauren mermaid dress to her first Met Gala, a look that Serena Vander Woodson would almost certainly have approved of. As she became more and more famous, Blake Lively's style went through a noticeable shift. She started embracing unique cuts and edgier looks, making her resemblance to Serena Vander Woodson even more apparent. By the time the 2010s rolled around, she had pretty much established herself as a fixture in the fashion industry. But as much as she loves fashion, she knows that fame and influence can go away in the blink of an eye. As she admitted to Interview Magazine in 2010, Couture Fashion Week, getting to meet Karl Lagerfeld and John Galliano, and Christian Louboutin is so exciting. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't be there without my job. There are a few things in life that matter above all else – your family, your friends, your loved ones. Perhaps the most memorable style moment from this period was Lively's brief switch to copper hair. However, while her fans embraced the change, she only did it for her part in the 2011 movie Hick. As she explained to People magazine, "...I thought my character needed red hair. It helps when you're playing a role, when I don't feel like myself. And I don't really feel like myself with red hair." The final season of Gossip Girl aired on The CW in the fall of 2012, and with that, Blake Lively had to finally say goodbye to Serena Vander Woodson. While looking back on that time in her life in a 2019 interview with InStyle, she admitted, "...being on the show, I learned so much from the incredible costume designer Eric Damon. I also figured out what I was comfortable with." Lively also revealed that she learned what she was uncomfortable with as well, as she recalled, "...for one of my first events, I wore a dress that I was so insecure in, but I was told that I couldn't back out because it was made custom and it would hurt my relationship with the designer. It didn't fit right, though, and everybody knew it was a mess. I'd never do that again." Lively was 25 when Gossip Girl ended, so it makes sense that, at the time, she was slowly embracing a more mature and classic look. Perhaps she also subconsciously wanted to kick off a new era of her life. We're finally done. I can't believe it." 2012 was an eventful year for Blake Lively. In addition to Gossip Girl ending, she also married Ryan Reynolds. Then, in December 2014, she gave birth to their first child together. Needless to say, the looks she rocked during her pregnancy were top-notch. She rarely chose maternity-specific fashion, as she instead opted for regular clothes, just with looser fits. As she revealed to InStyle, "...I thought, so much of me has changed. I can't change the way I dress, too. I actually didn't even buy any maternity clothes at all. I just wore stretchier things and didn't button my pants, and wore sweaters that were long enough, so you couldn't tell." Either way, Lively effortlessly proved just how stylish and fabulous a soon-to-be mom could look. She also discovered just how important nice shoes were for her during pregnancy. As she told Elle in 2015, "...when I put on Louboutins while super pregnant, it makes me feel more empowered in that moment. It gives me that extra oomph." 
Once Lively became a mom, her style became a little simpler, but she still made sure to remain true to herself. She got rid of what she considered to be her sillier outfits, such as denim and lace rompers that had flowers embroidered on them. Instead, she opted for a more classic approach to fashion. Blake Lively turned 30 in 2017, so it's hardly surprising that she started shopping for a more elevated style during this period of her life. She continued to dazzle, whether on the red carpet or during casual outings, and no matter what she wore, she always looked empowered and confident. But while fashion has always played an important role in her career, she knows that there are more important things in life than mere pieces of clothing. When Lively attended Variety's Power of Women event in 2017, she was honored for working with the Child Rescue Coalition. When a reporter asked her about her fashion while she was on the red carpet, she responded, Really? At this event, you're asking me about my outfit? Seriously. Would you ask a man that? I'm here so we become more aware, and that we change, and that we build women up. So you can ask me another question. If we want to change the world, we have to do it ourselves. And in a 2018 interview with Glamour, Blake Lively revealed why she generally picks her own looks instead of working with a stylist. As she admitted, "...it's probably because I have control issues and a big ego. That's probably the honest answer. I love design, and I love fashion, and it's a way to be creative. In my job, I get to be creative, but it's over a period of time, and so many other people are involved, whereas this is a beginning, middle, and end. And I get to be creative, and there's an end date in the near future." In 2018, Blake Lively stunned at the Heavenly Bodies-themed Met Gala. She later told Vogue in 2022, "...I get very involved in the design of the dress. I don't know if it's because I'm a Virgo or if I need a life." Lively also starred in the comedy thriller A Simple Favor in 2018, as she played a character who has a flair for dramatic pantsuits and tuxedos. She also incorporated some of that traditionally masculine style into her own daily looks. And in fact, the film's director, Paul Feig, revealed to Refinery29 that it was Lively's idea to do that after she saw him rock a three-piece suit to work every day. And I was like, I need something as iconic as you, Paul. After Blake Lively's third pregnancy in 2019, she opened up about the struggle she faced trying to find clothes that she liked. As she admitted on her Instagram in 2021, "...no one had samples that fit me after giving birth, and so many clothes from stores didn't fit either. So many. It doesn't send a great message to women when their bodies don't fit into what brands have to offer. It's alienating and confusing." Lively also revealed that she couldn't help but focus on how low her confidence was because she couldn't find much to wear. Knowing that even A-listers like Lively struggle with their style during pregnancy certainly sheds light about where the fashion industry could use some improvement. As the world stopped turning during the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, celebrities ended up stuck at home just like so many others. So while they hung out in their mansions and massive apartments, they also rocked some of their comfiest clothes. During this period, Blake Lively shared some glimpses of her private life to her followers on social media. This included revealing that her husband, Ryan Reynolds, takes care of her hair by posting an Instagram video of him touching up her roots. While Lively rocked cozier looks during this turbulent time, it was also clear that she still took care of herself and her appearance, and living life with outgrown roots just wasn't going to happen. She would also still dress herself up, even if that meant pairing a sporty look with edgy, heeled booties, rather than a designer dress for another red carpet. Once COVID-19 lockdowns finally lifted, Blake Lively appeared to be thrilled to go back to her everyday life. That meant plenty of public outings, acting projects, and red carpet events. She returned to her usual glamorous style, and her most memorable look from the early 2020s is surely the stunning Versace gown she rocked at the 2022 Met Gala. As she revealed to Vogue, "...instead of looking at Gilded Age fashion, I wanted to look at architecture. New York has been a critical part of who I am, so I thought I would love to arrive in a copper dress and have it patina as I ascend the red carpet." Instead of me performing, I wanted sort of the dress to perform. Considering that Lively rose to international fame by playing New York City's most stunning blonde fashionista, this Met Gala appearance was a bit of a full-circle moment. Blake Lively took stock of her own fashion evolution during a 2019 interview with InStyle, as she explained, "...I think it's changed more as I've gotten older. There are lots of cute little baby doll dresses in my closet from my early 20s that I know I'm not going to wear them again because I'm not in whatever happened to Baby Jane. My style is, hopefully, becoming more elegant over time, but I still like pink and some frills." If her looks from 2023 are any indication, then she's certainly achieved that goal. For Michael Kors's New York Fashion Week show in September 2023, for example, she opted to channel the 1970s by rocking a gorgeous gold jumpsuit. Ultimately, this mother of four has undergone quite the beautiful style transformation by growing from a fashionable Y2K teenager into a glamorous style icon. While Lively has always had a great sense of what she does and doesn't like, she's now more visibly secure than ever before in her fashion choices. And the confidence with which she wears her clothes makes them stand out even more.